welcome to another episode of Movie Passels. I'm Salmon. And I'm Romo. And this week we saw Infinity War. war By the war, Avengers. War, war, war. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or Thanos' Infinity Thanos's War. Thanos' War of Infinite Infinity Power. power. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, yeah, we didn't use our film cards this week. We did not use our non-denominational we film saw cards because there, there would be no way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we saw it in sweet sweet IMAX Yeah, style. as many dimensions as possible. Yeah. As huge as possible. As huge as, as possible. As it was intended to be seen. As, as it was filmed with IMAX yeah. cameras. Uh, like all IMAX yep. cameras. Yep. yep. The, whole, the whole movie, not like a scene, Yeah, just the whole some deal. battles, just it like was the whole some deal. Wakanda. Yeah. yeah. It was very clearly filmed for IMAX. It, it was, was like, beautiful. It was gorgeous. It was so immersive and giant and <laughs> yeah. great. Oh. oh it's so good. good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> all right. Um, Forget how do we, how do we do this? Do we do synopsis so, first? So summary or how do you feel first? I don't know. Uh, summary first. Summary. Let's All do right. a quick summary. <clears throat> or Sam's prepared statement. I have prepared a statement to enter into the record of Infinity War. <laughs> After ten young. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cut that out. After ten young. <laughs> After 10 long years and just in time for Earth Day 2018, oh. the MCU opens to a climactic crest with the 700 character epic Infinity War. <laughs> Titanic purple people eater and interstellar eco terrorist Thanos is in the process of collecting six mystical gems called the Infinity Stones that, when united, <laughs> grant the owner the power to control the entire universe. He intends to delete half the population of the galaxy as a solution to resource scarcity and how crowded the subways are. The Guardians, Mr. Pepper Potts, Spider Boy, the Hulkbuster, all of Africa, Chris Hensworth, and all the rest except for Hawkeye, team up <laughs> for various crossover mashup missions and a final bid to save all of existence. Will their sacrifices be enough to stop the end of time and space? Was Ant-Man there the whole time, just too small to see? Are our heroes too old to keep making movies? Where Disney let their super cash cows out to the infinite pasture and the great soul stone of the sky? Find out maybe in this movie or the next one, or <laughs> probably the one after that. <laughs> <laughs> bravo, bravo, bravo. Thank Sam. you, thank you. Bravo, Sam. Bravo, because I'm a lady. <laughs> What, my lady bravs. Is it, is it bravo for if it's gender neutral? Oh, yeah. Bravex. Bravex. Brex. Brex. Well, yeah. Uh, I fucking love this movie. It was a great movie. I fucking. It was dark as shit. It was. <laughs> and funny, and really funny still, like. And fucking, like, heart wrenching. Yeah. Gut wrenching. Yeah. I gasped several times. I had, like, a comedic, like, hand over face gasp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. I really love this movie. Like, if you like comic books, like, this is the perfect, this is the perfect event comic book in movie form. Agreed. Like, they did it so well. Agreed. Of doing, like, the, oh, the big summer event of, like, you know, like, like Infinity War, like the old Infinity War comics or the newer stuff, and like or Crisis on Infinite Earths for DC stuff. Like, yeah, it's fucking great. Yeah, <laughs> I loved it. Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> I think they did the best with what they were trying to do. Yeah. Um, I thought it had some problems, but I liked it overall a great All right. deal. Yeah. All right. Severely lacking in Ant Man. <laughs> <laughs> I have a theory about that, and we'll and we'll get to it. Okay. In our. I think he was there the whole time. It's just uh, too small. I think he <laughs> just was. Just kidding. <laughs> somewhere very else. Somewhere very else. Yeah. Well, obviously. Yeah. Because <laughs> he wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Any other thoughts, or should we just dial? No, right I think it's hard to talk about it to, without spoilers. Spoiler. That's the thing. It's yeah. like. I, I think they did a good job before we get into spoilers of like the Thanos demand your silence and not releasing now spoilers are out there in yeah. force a little bit but I think they did a good job of ducking and weaving spoilers until that point yeah. like I watched a lot of I like I immerse myself in like the stuff and yeah. like the, the lead up I definitely don't right I opposite exactly yeah I don't want to be involved in any <laughs> anything like that I don't want to see it fresh so 
So I, and I was completely astounded and surprised. And, yeah. And enjoyed it. So, yeah. All right. Spoiler time. Spoiler, spoiler, spoilers. Yeah, I loved all the crossovers. Super hard. Oh, fucking. It was yeah. so good. All the pairings were so good because the, the way that they were, like, the only way you can effectively do a movie with 400 characters is if you just chunk them off right. and have them doing their own thing. things. If you pair them up in unusual and interesting yeah. ways. And that's how you do it. And, yep. it's, and every pairing was great. Even the quick pairings, mm -hmm. like, towards the end and stuff like that. Like, Rocket, yeah, like the, Rocket like the, and Bucky was one of my yeah. favorite little pairings. Or uh, Groot and Steve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of, like, quick pairings at the end. I like the, like, lady fight oh, at the that, end. Like, that was fucking yeah. killer. The Koye and Black Widow. Yeah. Scarlet Witch. <laughs> Just like fighting themselves Just like off to the side. Being like, oh, here we go. <laughs> Lady fight time. Lady fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It yeah. Was, yeah, I really enjoyed the pairings. and I. Thor and the Guardians. <laughs> pirate Angel Thor. Yeah. Sexy Pirate <laughs> Sexy Angel. Sexy Pirate Angel. Um, what else? Doctor Strange and Tony. I really love their I love their their relationship because it was great. Doctor Strange is the only other egotistical person who can put Tony in his place, yeah. kinda. Yeah. Or at least try to. Yeah. <laughs> I like the joke when uh when Peter Parker was introducing himself to Doctor Strange, he's like, Peter Parker and he's like Doctor, Doctor Strange. Strange. He's like, Oh, we're using fake names. <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> and just Doctor Strange gives right, him a, that is his a real withering name. look too. <laughs> just like <laughs> Speaking of Peter Parker, who is great in this. So great. Fucking, I am so glad Tom Holland is fucking Spider-Man. I know you have a heart on for Tobey Maguire. I don't. I just think <laughs> if we included Tobey Maguire in the MCU as a part of the MCU from the beginning, the MCU would be going on for like 20 years instead. Yeah, that's true. And I'm tired of Peter Parker. I have nothing against Tom Holland. I'm tired of Peter Parker that's, origin stories. That's fair. I think we should move on. Some more Miles Morales -y territories. Okay. That's fair. That is. Fair. But Tom Holland's pretty good. It's very good. <laughs> He's just ador He's adorable. It's gonna be real problematic if we bring Deadpool into this universe, <laughs> who is sexually obsessed with Spider-Man, who is a literal child <laughs> in this universe. <laughs> well, we don't get their rights for a couple more years, so maybe yeah, we'll be let him age up. He'll, he'll, he'll be, be 19. Up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is that gonna make it any better? <laughs> no, it doesn't make it any better. It just makes it legal. Uh, <laughs> man. <laughs> well, yeah, the parents are great. I this movie was dark as shit. It opens on a fucking dark. It was note. like the theme of it was yeah. sacrifice of your loved ones. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of people had to like were like asked to shoot their loved ones in the face multiple. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> Peter Quill was outright die. Yeah. And he fucking did it. He, he pulled, did it. He pulled the trigger. I really liked that moment because no, Thanos, I did too. Because Thanos was going to sacrifice Gamora, right? right? Also. Right. And so they kind of had like, he like complimented him. Right. It's like, well, that's oh, why Thanos, that's, Thanos. You really do love her, and that's exactly what I'm about to do. I like you. Yeah, that's Later. why he said, I yeah. like you. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's a really good moment. Also, weird for Quill to be like, well, fuck, I'm kind of more like. Thanos a little bit. I think it was more of a Thanos moment because we were working up to this whole Thanos is more human than we think yeah. he is. Yeah. Yeah. They give they do humanize or attempt to humanize yeah. Thanos a lot. Like the fact that he has to sacrifice Gamora to the get one, the soul stone. The one person he yeah. loves. And that it works. Like right. the soul stone's like, yep, that's a worthy sacrifice. You really, really, really <laughs> like her. You really love her. <laughs> yep. Out of everyone. Yep. Womp womp through your one love. Stop spitting Sorry. in my drink. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a mustache. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, how he's, he's just like, yeah, the one person you love. And I love that scene. I love yeah. the fucking comeback of yeah. the Red Skull all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. Red Skull is like, yeah, I'm, I, I can't even have the Soul Stone. I love nothing. I love nothing. Whoops. <laughs> I don't even love Nazis. I yeah. I abandoned I love them. Nazis. <laughs> I abandoned the Nazis to do my own shit. <laughs> I love uh, myself, and you can't sacrifice yourself. I thought for a second when he first appeared as like his like Nazgul Dementor oh, thing. Yeah. I thought he was. I thought they were gonna go with it's actually death, like in the comics where. Uh, yeah, me too. Thanos. And because don't the, Thanos is doing the whole gauntlet stuff in the comics because he wants death's sexy he, attention. Yeah, he wants, he wants to, to court bone death. death. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he wants that sweet, sweet skeletal yeah. frame. Yeah. Or sexy death body. <laughs> yeah. So this is more of a metaphorical. Well, it also elevates Thanos's um, his motives. Yeah. Well, I, also, I don't think they want to bring in the abstracts quite yet. That's a yeah. little comic heavy. Also, the whole like death to the world for like incel reasons is right. not like, <laughs> the greatest. Not not in this moment. <laughs> no. It's not, it's not quite the topical oh. thing we're going for right now. Thanos, <laughs> the universe's biggest incel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Notice me, Death. Notice me. <laughs> so yeah, he sacrifices Gamora to the yeah. Soul Stone, and I think she's trapped in it. Oh yeah, she's not dead. She's, she's not dead. There. She's in the. She's Soul literally Stone. inside the Soul Stone. Yeah, she's 100%. I think most of them are in the Soul Stone. But I think for so sure, too. Gamora's I think hundred percent, Gamora. I think that's Stone. where they all went, and I think that's yeah. why. At the end, spoilers like. The gauntlet is destroyed yeah. when, he used, when he finally yeah. snaps his See, fingers. And I wanted, I don't know, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, com I have complex feelings about their disintegrating deaths. Mm. I okay. thought that it was a little too abstract to make it feel like anybody was dying, to make you sad about it. And, and like the whole weight, uh, the whole emotional weight of it was really just like levied entirely on Peter Parker. I agree. Yeah. I agree. That was to the make, main emotional yeah. weight. Him Peter like dying I don't and, in Iron Man's arms, being like, I don't want to go. Yeah, like, doing the Doctor yeah. Who. I don't yeah, want to go. He gets his Doctor Who moment. <laughs> yeah. and he's just like so upsetting, and you're just like, oh my oh god, god, he's dying. It's a child. Yeah, and but then it's a at kid, that point, you're watching a yeah. kid die. But by then, we've already seen like 15 Avengers well, die. Well, that's the thing. Like Loki, they 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 off the bat. Loki's for real dead. No, Loki's for real. Loki's dead. So, like, that's how dark this movie is. Yeah. It opens on a fucking carnage. But they only do that for, like, Lo I feel like I mean, Loki's the only Loki one who's for real dead. And Heimdall. Oh, yeah. Who they but fucking like, stab through. Yeah. But, like, I think it was just so obvious someone's clearly gonna get the time zone and reset well, time no, and blah, blah, blah. But, so, like, that's part of it. It's yeah. like, Doctor Strange says, right. I went through 14 million blah 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 when he's like looking through all that yeah, shit. Yeah, this on is the only one. And, yeah. and he says, he has a quote, he goes, when he gives the time stone, he says, this is the end game. And I think it's the one way. We have to lose the battle to win the war. We have to lose the battle to yeah. win the war. Yeah. Like, I don't, it's not, Doctor Strange doesn't give a shit no, about Tony. that's clearly not what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing. And like, no, his, yeah. whole, his whole demeanor is like, I know this is happening. I'm accepting my yeah. non-existence because well, I know you're... it's only for now. Right. And I'm sure he saw thousands and thousands of, of timelines where he gave him the stone and they died. Right, so right. it's just up to... Right. Yeah. So basically he's like, this is my... This is the only way it could possibly, possibly work. Right, exactly. So I have to do this. So I have to trust and that this, yeah. Stark is going to go in the direction that I think it's going to happen. And that's the thing. Because it I clearly was, leans on Stark. Yeah, I was really annoyed because when, when he got stabbed, I was like, oh, he's yeah, dead. I know. And I, so I, was, too. I was so... And then, foams and then I was annoyed that he like micro-foamed himself back to life. But then I realized, because then they wanted to hold him off for the same like death moment of everybody else. So when they right. were set time, we'll be there. And I feel like that's because Stark has to wield the Infinity Gauntlet, yeah. and he's gonna have to sacrifice someone he loves for the fucking Soul, Soul Stone, Stone, and it's gonna be Cap. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, I like it. Yeah. I like it. It's not gonna be Pepper. No one cares about Pepper. No, no it's not. Gonna be yeah. <laughs> we can't sacrifice. Or the Pepper. baby they alluded to having at the beginning for no reason. <laughs> no, that would be really aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think it'd be Cap? It's gonna be Captain America. Oh, because then, well, that would be that's actually not a bad idea because that. Someone he loves. Yeah. <laughs> and they could do a whole thing. Of yeah, passing. they're gonna like go there, and it'll be like the only only the two of them there, and he's yeah. gonna be like, oh well, I love you, Cap. And then they'll make out, and then they'll jump off. Finally, the edge. everyone gets their wish. Yeah, it'll be super hot. <laughs> 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 and then Bucky will kill Iron Man. <laughs> and just for grab making the, out with his grab boyfriend. Grab the shield. <laughs> um, Great. That's what I think will happen. <laughs> No, but phase three, guys. Phase four. <laughs> phase four. <laughs> no, but yeah, I I agree. I think I think they're gonna go with the more recent. And I was Wikipediaing like the comics recently, and Iron Man has wielded the gauntlet. Yeah. Recently. Yeah. Recently. Yeah. Yeah. And and they use and they seem to crib more. Or from what's the, his face? And they uh, seem to crib, Adam, what's his face? Oh, Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock. But he's yeah. not coming until later. But like, they seem to be cribbing more from the recent stuff. Yeah. Like for the movies 
instead of like the old stuff, which would have been Nebula gets the gauntlet yeah, in the but original. Also, Infinity. we didn't see Nebula phase out and disappear. No. And he only kills. So, they mention over and over that he only kills half of I, everybody. I, I have a theory on why on the on the people that have that ex, that have been blinked out of existence. Yeah. Versus who did. Mm -hmm. So obviously, all the OG Avengers remained in existence. Every like single. Tony oh, stayed. Yeah. So Tony, uh, Tony Cap, Hulk, Thor, and Black Widow, and technically uh, War Machine are still still exist. Yeah. And they're all the original Avengers. They're all from the first Avengers yeah. movie. And the only other people that didn't, out of like the people we were watching, yeah. and following, were Rocket, who's technically not a humanoid or a person. Yeah. It was an ex experiment. Groot. Groot. Groot disappeared. Groot disappeared? Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, he, he went bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, that's right. Because Rocket was yeah, yeah, yeah. sad again. Yeah, I remember. And then, and the only other person who we didn't see disappear is Nebula, because I think she's more machine than human. That's true. So I think, so this is, that's my theory. Yeah, is that, so those like, are the new Avengers. Throw yeah. some, throwing some X Men that yeah. we get the rights to. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Hawkeye. Well, this, is, this is clearly <laughs> a great, well, I don't think Hawkeye. Disappeared. I don't think Ant Man disappeared. I think Hawkeye's family fucked oh, off. Oh, Hawkeye's family is gone. Oh, he's going to avenge them. Well, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's going to become Ronin. Yeah. And like fucking oh, be yeah. badass on his own until. Oh, yeah. He's pissed. He's going to become like, he's yeah. trying to Drax it now. Yeah. Like, fuck this dude. But, and I think Ant Man was in the quantum realm oh, while yeah. this happened. Leaping so around. He, yeah. So, so like, Ant Man With and Wasp. Wasp. Yeah. So they were in the quantum realm yeah. and they're going to. I think at the end of the Ant-Man movie, which Ant-Man and Wasp movie, which comes out in July, yeah, they're gonna come back and be like, Where the fuck did everyone go? Everyone got raptured. <laughs> Not even cool rapture, no. dust rapture. Yeah, just piles of leaves everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> everyone turned into like dust leaves. Yeah, it was like spirally <laughs> dusty leaves. Aww. Aww. But yeah, I really like the effects in this. Oh like, yeah, the um. Well, you know what? I don't necessarily like the Thanos design. Oh, really? Like, I think of his character? Yeah, I think it's astronomically model? better than it was, like, in the... Oh, the like, end of before. the Avengers? Yeah, yeah. terrible. <laughs> but I wish it were more of a combination of practical stuff. I agree. Instead I of all CGI, because, like, for, it's a weird thing to complain that it looks obnoxiously, co like, comic and 2D. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's true. Like, and you would think in the world, someone like Vision would be the worst looking thing. Right. But since it's a, since it's all practical makeup and stuff, it works so well despite being such a bold comic character design. Right. Um, and I just, I don't know. I just, I, the CGI was great, but yeah. I feel like things are lost in motion capture that would have been I better think, with a practical. I agree, and yeah. I think, I think. Brolin did a great fucking yeah, job. Yeah, Josh Brolin, the oldest man still named Josh. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did a fucking great job. Like, he did. He felt menacing. Oh, and absolutely. Like, then he felt the humanization, and yep. when he killed, when, like, he, when, yeah, he, was, when he sacrificed was, Gamora. When he fucking, you see yeah, him he crying. cried. Yeah. Like, it's beautiful. It like, is. Like, and then the last shot where he's just sitting like in the pagoda. Is yeah, just, and like, he's just like, I've done know, it. I will look into the sunset and yeah. enjoy my work. Yep. And he did. And he did. The end. <laughs> but, like, yeah, it was good. Yeah, I, I felt that way about all his children. Like, I felt oh, they yeah, were... yeah, definitely, were yeah. More so them than, um, than Thanos himself. Yeah. But they all felt awkwardly too CG, too agree. slick. Yeah, it's way too slick. I agree. Uh, except for maybe Ebony Ma. That yeah. one, and that was the one I thought could have been really practical, and they just didn't for some reason. Yeah. Squidward face guy. Like, yeah. Like he could have been super. Like I get the big guy can't really the Hulk the Hulk the Hulk, bad guy Hulk. Yeah. Couldn't do it, but but yeah, no. Ebony Ma felt like it should have been practical, but I agree. But all the uh, the fight scenes were fucking oh, the, great. All the action was great. It was none of that like fast movement stuff nope. where you can't really see the action and it follow it. It was all clear, good, clear, wide, wide beautifully shots. choreographed. God. So like, good. I loved the the introduction of Cap and the Black Widow, like that fight scene. Yeah. At, when you, After you get to see Wanda at full strength, mm -hmm. basically, or almost full strength, 
where she's like blasting witch bolts yep. and then all of a sudden Cap comes out and Falcon and like that was a great fight against like Proxima Midnight it and was. Corbett Slay and I it, all the fights were great like and it really showed you that they're great when they work together as a team that's the only time they work is as a team yep and when they try and fight things one on one they fail that's miserably that's the idea yeah <laughs> <laughs> We're team players. <laughs> I liked uh, Drax's comedy. Oh, God. I fucking love How long have you been standing there? An hour. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do you one more. Why, Gamora? <laughs> Why, Gamora? <laughs> <laughs> that was... <laughs> so good. Uh, I loved Peter Quill freaking out. Because that oh, was yeah. such a human moment. Yeah, and when they're like, ruining their chance to when get they, the gauntlet off When they're like, we've arm. almost got this. Yeah. <laughs> He's stop fucking around. Yeah. And then... He's like, oh, push in your face. Push in your big, dumb face. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking... Yeah, now we're all going to die. Yep, now everyone's going to die. <laughs> Thanks, Peter Crow. <laughs> but it makes sense. Like, he, he's... They've fallen in love over the course of their movies, and then this movie, yeah. and then and now she's dead, and now she's dead, <laughs> and he's lost another person that he loved. Aww. <laughs> and like, Peter Parker told him that Footloose wasn't is, as good as he was, thought it was. That was so good. He has had a very still, hard day. <laughs> this is still the greatest movie of all time, and never it was. Never was. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I liked when Iron Man was like, was asking Peter when he got here and he was, or where he came from, and he was like, a field trip to MoMA. <laughs> it was such a good throwaway line. Because he was like, also in the process of like getting beat up. And so he gets like half of the line out, then he like gets slammed into a wall or something. Yeah, he says, MoMA. MoMA. <laughs> I love the fucking like, it's like magic circle. Yeah. <laughs> magic circle. <laughs> magic kick. <laughs> I just like how much this Spider-Man has fun. Oh, absolutely. He's a kid. Yeah, he's a child. Who's jo who's joined, like, an international superhero organization. <laughs> that was my favorite moment where Tony goes, all right, yeah, you're an Avenger now. Yeah, uh, night at you, you're an Avenger. And he's his like, face was perfect yeah, he's because he was, so like, excited, kid shocked, yeah. and then he goes, no, yeah. I have to be no, an adult like, about he's, this. He's, like, filled with wonder, and then he's very, like... I have to adult <laughs> this. ...stern and serious. Accepting the burden of, of being an adventure. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, I, I think the even though it was sad at the end, made me sad. Yeah. I don't think. Well, the no, you stakes, know they're gonna get out well, of yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, there's a Black Panther too. True. They're not gonna delete. Well, there's a Guardians Three coming. Like. <laughs> yeah, like there's they're filming Spider-Man like up the block. Yeah, exactly. Like he's alive. <laughs> Clearly, and I think that's. And I, and I understand why that would be a complaint, but let's be honest, you know. No, I know that, but I wish there were more for real deaths, because we already know they're not bringing everybody back. Well, no, like, clearly Loki's dead. Yeah. Well, I mean, before. more, like, like, people we cared about. Right. There nobody we cared about died. No it's, one cares about No, no one cared about that. I think <laughs> we're going to see care about de more actual care about deaths in next year. Is that year. The, how they're going to get us to watch the next yeah. stuff? Yeah. Okay. Because I think like because the Captain it's either Marvel, Cap, it's either Cap or Tony's dying. Oh, I, I my money's on on Cap. Cap, and my money's on Tony is going to have to be redeemed by showing that he loves somebody, <laughs> and then has to love them enough to also have to sacrifice them for the world, and it's going to be Cap. <laughs> is it OTP? OTP, one true pairing. Yep. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, I like the post credit scene. I thought it was oh, yeah, nice where they call Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel set up her movie. Yeah, but also her movie, her movie is apparently. It takes place in the nineties. In the nineties. So yeah. they're probably gonna do like what they did they, with. Is he calling her through time? No, I think <laughs> they're gonna do like what they did with. Um, uh, what is it called? Captain America: The First Avenger. Yeah. Where ninety percent of the movie is in the nineties. And then the last, like, Oh, yeah, the last five two minutes. seconds, she's, like, playing with her smartphone. Yeah, it's going to be, like, And then she yeah. gets a text from Sam Jackson. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Being like, I'm disappearing. <laughs> I'm disappearing, help me. Oh. <laughs> and then a bunch of random letters because his thumbs are gone. But I did, like, I did like in that post credit scene that they showed, like, 
what happens if people just disappear where it was yeah. like the fucking plane just crashed. I wish they would show I wish they had shown more of how like not everybody disappears. Right. Because they oh, stressed true. multiple times that he was only deleting half, half. of populations. Right. And also that's super necessary for understanding how someone's gonna get a text <laughs> while you're disappearing. Right. <laughs> and obviously it's not like delete from existence, it's just no, it's no just longer like, exists. Yeah, you just don't exist. Yeah, yeah. no longer exists. On this current timeline that we're right. in. Yeah. So yeah, time travel clearly is in the next one, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a be. time stone. Yeah. We're not going to not time travel. <laughs> also, we took great pains to make sure everyone disappeared at the same time. Yeah. Right at the end, and everyone lived long enough. So you only to need to go back to a exist. specific yeah. point. <laughs> well, there's that line in Doctor Strange about how you can either not exist or relive the same moment over and over and over. Oh, right, where yeah. he's facing uh, Dormammu. Like. Yeah, so maybe they'll relive, like, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. I don't, I'm not invested in Captain Marvel enough no. to be like, ooh, about the end. I'm curious to see what they're going to do with that. I've never been... I mean, big... I'm obviously curious. I'm not going to not watch it oh, now. Yeah. We're 19 movies in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I was never a big Captain Marvel fan, Me neither. like reading the comics or stuff. She's definitely clearly the one of the more powerful people they yeah, have. Yeah, one of the more really souped up, right. like, yeah. I love, I love, I, I mean, they obviously, the two most powerful, the three most powerful beings in the current thing are Vision, yeah. Hulk, and Thor. Yeah. And they yeah. nerfed Vision and Hulk right off and, the bat. And Hulk couldn't do his, he couldn't Hulk out. He couldn't, he couldn't out. perform. Yeah. <laughs> he had to get in the Hulkbuster suit. Yeah. Good for, good for Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. You get to be Mark yeah. Ruffalo. He never for, gets to be Mark Ruffalo. Yeah, he's always the Hulk. <laughs> but like, but I like that. I like the scene where he like trips over himself in the Hulkbuster yeah. suit. Yeah. And fucking Okai, Okoye is like, just gives him yeah, a look like, like get out of here. <laughs> White people. <laughs> That's the look she gives. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, good. I felt like some scenes were a little throwaway just to make sure we got all the characters in. Well, yeah, not everybody got an arc or a yeah, moment. Yeah, like Shuri felt a little underused yeah, in like, this. I get it that Shuri is why the those Avengers even come to Wakanda. Right. I get that, but I mean, then she doesn't succeed, and then we also don't see her leafing away. No, no. Yeah. I don't think she's. I don't think she. Yeah, leaves. which is why I think she's going to be a part of the new Avengers as maybe Ironheart. Oh, that's what I thought. Yeah. That's that's my Shuri. But Ironheart is Riri. Yeah. Like they could combine that yeah. character rather than making her because uh, she also becomes Black Panther in the comics. She does. A little bit. And Black Panther has more sisters than yeah. this Shuri. Yeah, he has all sorts of siblings. Yeah, T'Challa Doom. Yeah. Yeah, which would be a great way to do a Fantastic Four for, for good and real. <laughs> I want I want a real Fantastic Four real yeah. bad. Like, I, X-Men can stay in its own little like universe yeah. for all I care about. There's a whole bunch of There's them. There's a bunch There's of them. a whole bunch of them. But I really want Fantastic Four and Galactus I want and all that work. stuff <laughs> to come back. I do too. Like, oh man, and Doctor Doom specifically, to have like, <coughs> a really powerful Earth-based villain. Yeah. Who's like, I a also dude. have my own kingdom. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Agreed. Oh, God, it'd be so good. Because could they could treat with Wakanda and be yeah. like, king on king. And like, it'd be so good. I want it to be where they battle Doom for like a whole movie. And then it's like another movie later when you realize, to, when you realize Doom was, was T'Challa the whole uh, time. Oh, that's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. Long lost sister of, yeah. uh, of Black Panther. Yep. Oh, yeah. Good. Good stuff. But yeah, I just <laughs> want, I want the Fantastic Four to like, I want them to skip an origin story with them and just yeah. come like out of space and be like, shit. Cause, oh yeah, because they're like, cause I they, want, were, they, they were world hoppers and Yeah, I want them hoppers. to time leap from like the 60s or something. Oh, that and, would be yeah, fucking great. And just show up here and be like, oh. whoa. Oh, that would be so good. It would good. be super great. Like if they were like, oh, we went into like Dimension X or whatever yeah. in the 60s and we've kind of been stuck there or like hopping around but we can never fig figure out a way to get home. Exactly. Like sliders. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 
but we but we figured we could get home if we traveled forward in time. Yeah, that's how we could get home. Exactly, and they jump from like the '60s oh, God, to like 2020. So good. It would be super good. Because then you and can... Doom's black the whole time. <laughs> super necessary. <laughs> Well, you could have the... Oh, yeah, because he would be, be dead, dead from the 60s. because he's from the 60s. So good. good. Perfect. Perfect. Writes itself. So, <laughs> submit the script to Marvel. Exactly. <laughs> Type up the spec script. Send submit. it. Send my royalties here. <laughs> but, but, yeah, back to this movie. <laughs> yeah. Back to movies that exist. <laughs> <laughs> but I liked a sassy teenage Groot. Sassy teenage Groot, and then great. sassy teenage Groot uses his own Grooty arms. To, I like, uh, yeah, yeah, to, 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 to make the, Stormbreaker. Oh, back to the CGI. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> man, was the Peter giant, Dinklage giant, giant Peter Dinklage <laughs> was awkward as fuck. It was fuck. so awkward because <laughs> it was like shot like a. Like, it was clearly shot on like a green screen somewhere yeah. else, and they didn't really bother they to like. They did a lot of like Hagrid angles where you're supposed to. Like, <laughs> it was ridiculous. It was. But it was also amazing because it was oh, Peter Dinklage. Well he, well, he was great. It was just like. <laughs> it didn't look good. No, it didn't look <laughs> it didn't good. Look it was good. like the one thing that looked awkward and weird. It did. Yeah, I agree. It was the one thing because like, ah, uh, man. I want, and I was like, oh, I get it. They said yeah. dwarf, and he's a and giant. He, and he's a giant dwarf. dwarf. I, I get, get it. it. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> yep. Great. I mean, I did like that. No, no, no. It just I didn't look it. great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I wish it had just looked better. Yeah. And then it would have been fine. Absolutely. It just looked like yeah, they filmed it three weeks it ago. It really did. <laughs> it really did. That was not, I mean, yeah. It didn't look like nine million dollars worth of a Henry Cavill mustache. <laughs> <laughs> it was not that bad. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> but but did, no, I did like that scene. I liked Thor's arc of like him being like, I'm pretty powerless right now. Yeah. I need to go. And him get being like, I would rather sacrifice my life to see if that this even kind of tries to happen. happen. Right, yeah. Yeah. He's like, I have nothing else to live for. <laughs> It will kill you. Well, if it does. No, he's like, only if I die. die. <laughs> yes, that's yes, what I meant. Said. That's what killing you <laughs> means. <laughs> what a but Peter yeah. Dinklage moment. And then fucking, yeah, Groot uses his own his own baby arm to be the, yeah. uh, the half. Yeah, after he like plays with his 3DS the whole movie. <laughs> well, it's actually the game that Peter Quill's playing yeah, in the yeah, first it Guardians. It is. It's great. It's, it's a so good call. Cute. There's a lot of good little callbacks to other movies. Yeah. And like, if you, lots of good payoff if you've been oh, watching yeah, the whole. Lots of payoff for people who have watched every single, single one. movie. And for people who like binged every it's single, single one, one in the last couple weeks. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was a lot Do of Do you good. think you could watch it without having seen any of it? Any they do do movie. they do do some good small recapping every once in a while. Yeah, like the scene they're like, because <laughs> since they all have to catch each other up on things since they haven't all been together. Because they don't know each other. Yeah. Because they don't either know each other or they've been missing for an action for a while. So you kind of get the sense. I, it's tough for me to say that. I'd love to be like, hey. Go watch this yeah, movie. Yeah, I can't tell. Right. If you needed to see things, but they or definitely not. re-explain the Infinity Stones again, which yeah. they've done before. But it, it, just, I guess, just a lot is lost on you if you haven't. Seen oh yeah, it, I, I think so. I think it's less of a movie if you're not invested sure. in at least a little. If you haven't at least seen the other Avengers movies, I would say you kind of, and maybe Civil yeah. War. Ninety percent of it is the payoff of the characters interacting right. with each other. Yeah. That's that's the most of the payoff. Of the worlds colliding from the other movies. Right. Yeah. And seeing how they interact and seeing other emotional arcs resolve. Yeah. Like or not resolve in the case of Stark and Cap who yeah. who refused to call him. Yeah. Yeah. Like even though dire shit was happening. Yeah. And clearly Cap would accept the call. Like a uh, Scarlet Witch and Ultron. Right. Well, that that arc paid off. It like, did pay off. That finally, like... She should have tried to kill him earlier, though. <laughs> right, she did. She should have yeah, tried. Yeah, she waited too late. <laughs> now we're all going to die. Now we're all going to die. 
just because you just want to hang out with your sexy Paul Beatty boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, that's good. I like... Just download a copy of him. Print out a new one. <laughs> I like Sherry giving guff to... Uh, oh, yeah, she's to, like, I'm smarter than all of you. <laughs> but, yeah, it was... Yeah, I definitely think you need to have seen yeah. the movie. Agreed. The other movies. Yeah. At least some of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you need to know what superheroes are. <laughs> <laughs> and who knows each other. Right. Yeah. I am excited to see the Ant-Man thing and see where... Yeah, Ant -Man I'm worried about Ant-Man. Yeah? Ant-Man. Ant-Man. You worried <laughs> I mean, it's about gotta it? Follow, it's got to follow this. Black Panther. Ragnarok. True. That was a, those are a solid four previous yeah, movies. Yeah, all came out in the last, like, less than six months. <laughs> and even just before that was, like... Homecoming. It was Homecoming, which yeah. was also a big movie. It's yep. been on a solid streak of, like... Yeah. Good. So, Ant-Man lost. Mm. I think... I'm curious. They're releasing a new trailer oh, uh, tomorrow yeah. for our, for yeah. our sakes. Now, for now, you yeah, listeners. you should go watch the new trailer. I was, I'll probably cut this out. Well, I don't watch trailers. I know, unless I'm forced to in movie theater. <laughs> but man, yeah, no, I'm, I'm curious about Ant Man and Wasp. Yeah, how it's gonna like follow this. Likewise, yeah. Where are you guys? Yeah, where have you been? <laughs> are we gonna go back in time? Back in time. <laughs> <laughs> Huey Lewis style. Back in time. <laughs> uh, yeah. You guys, Good stuff. I think, I think it's about... Don't worry, guys. The universe will be reset. Yeah, I mean... They're not dead. They're not Some dead. Some of them dead. might be dead. Some are definitely dead. But most of them aren't dead. No. Wakanda is fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people in Wakanda are dead. Oh, probably. <laughs> Half of them, most yeah. likely. I did, I did like when Scarlet Witch finally joined the fight and they're, they was like, why yeah, would why she you there? Like, Why were you in like the hospital well, just, making goo-goo eyes at your dying, your dying boyfriend? Because she's, she's so like, powerful. Yeah. <laughs> Many people have died while you were inside making goo-goo eyes at your boyfriend. I want to know. You should have been also killing the whole time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Just like just saying. murder him. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. We can make another one. <laughs> you can. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Maybe she just didn't do the update recently. <laughs> you she need, hasn't you needed his uh, firmware updated. <laughs> she hasn't saved him recently. <laughs> so it's too late. He's like, oh, but I gotta jack like three <laughs> plugs in. That's a lot I of work. I can't delete him now. I haven't saved in like two years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. All right. I liked it. Go see it. I liked it a lot. Go see it. Yeah. How many buttholes would you give it, Sam? Two buttholes. Yeah. Yeah. Two good tight movie. buttholes for me. Good old movie. It was a good old movie. I liked it. So it was a great culmination of everything oh, that's done so far. Worth the wait. Worth the pay oh, worth yeah. the payoff. Super I would have sat through three more hours to see some some ending conclusionness though, but you have to you wait. Do you, I guess. You have to wait for the next three hours until next year. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> At least it's only a year. Yeah, but I also have to watch like four more Marvel movies in between. No, only two. Two. It's only Ant-Man and Captain Ant -Man. Marvel. Ant-Man, yeah. But I saw a good quote when someone was like, what did they say? They were like, I now understand what people must have felt like in the movies when they saw Empire Strikes Back the first time. Oh, yeah. Because it's a similar, similar feeling and ending of like, okay. dark ending and like, although this is Way clearer, like, bad guy won. Yeah, this is Megadark. He did win. Did win. <laughs> that he completed his, his entire right. mission. And his point. arc, Yeah, done. complete. <laughs> he did everything he wanted to do. Right. He's done. done. Yeah. <laughs> right. Which is why I like, yeah. which is why I think it was a great ending. And most movies don't go this... Like, they could, theoretically, they could be like, all right, we're shutting up shop. Yeah. <laughs> if they really wanted to. Maybe like, that's where I would have preferred an ending more like the snap in the comic, that's, where he snaps and it goes to white. Yeah, it goes just blank. Yeah. I agree. I, that's how I thought they were going to end I would it. have loved that. And they Although it would be hard to explain how someone gets a text message after that, so I guess that's why. <laughs> but they could still, 
They can do that because they can just play it from before. Yeah. Oh, I think something's gonna happen. Yeah. Let me talk to him. Oh, yeah. snap. Look at all this shit that happened. Well, because like there's space things happening. Yeah. So like, they could just be like, oh shit, we're really in trouble. Yeah. We need an actual person from outer space. Yeah. So, but, yeah. I liked it. I liked it a lot. All right. All right. This has been another episode of Movie Passles. I'm I, Salmon. I'm Romo. Yep. Bye.